Hello and welcome back to another Mining Architect video. This is a follow-up video because we are going to have a drop very soon. So before we begin, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow. And let's check out some of the juicy detail for Mining Architect. Before we begin, so what is Mining Architect? Mining Architect is the first social mining game base project nft but the most important part is this part right these cryptocurrencies are mined directly by mining architect using real hardware now that is actually very very interesting that's the reason why i'm paying attention a little bit about more on this project and if i got some juicy news that's why i'm going to bring it to you guys right so let's start off with the drops and this one is actually quite interesting especially the price point Let's start off with small bucket, medium bin, large bin, and the price is $25, $40, $100 respectively. But wait, there is one more and it's four drops or rather four packs. Huge truck for $180. Hmm. That is something for sure. And then if you're asking what are the rates, obviously we're gonna start off with the biggest one, All right? Huge truck, $180 you are paying. Max supply is 50. Yup, that's 50. And it's mainly open up for the golden passes, then followed by silver pass, and then to the public. One each per, uh, what do you call this? Gate? Yeah, but let's see. So huge truck gets you three min uh, three miners plus uh, what do you call this three ARCTH. I'm gonna call it CTH and BTC. So three CTH miner, three BTC miner, and one random miner. We don't really care about the random miner, but what we care is the drop rate: fourteen percent common, sixty five percent rare, and twenty one percent epic. Now, this is huge in terms of um, the drop rates. So if you're, I mean, if you're on the not so great roll, you'll get 65% rare, which is, which is nice, right? You're buying for the rare. But if your luck is like me, <laughs> sometimes you see, you know, 65% is rare, 21% is epic. But sometimes the game says, nope, you know what? You're going to get the best of the best, which is 14% common. <laughs> Which is painful so this this is actually a very interesting uh, pack per se that's for sure yeah it's 65 percent rare all across the board which i think this is a great chance pick 180 dollars sure it's a lot of money because if you look at other stuff like 25 dollars you get um one cth minor and one btc minor so you get two and this is 74% common, 25% rare, and 1% epic. So obviously, if you're going to buy the base or the small bin or bucket, I'm going to call it bucket, you're not going to care about the epic. You want to get as much common as you can. And in this case, $25. I think it's all right. Not so bad. Yeah, versus this guy, because $180, you can easily get, let's see if my math is right, the two, four packs. You can easily get seven packs and seven times two is 14 minus seven seven each which is already way more than three three right seven seven versus three three the only question is would rare outperform common by the number ah that's that's one thing we want to take care about and of course, next we have the medium bin and large bin. This one has not much of a difference. You're basically paying a little bit more for one CTH miner, one BTC miner, and one random miner with 54% common, 40% rare. So obviously, if you want something a little bit more better chance, yeah, the, the, small, the medium bin is actually quite good versus the small bucket. If you're talking about price point, obviously small bucket gets quantity medium bin gets quality or chance to get better quality now what about large bin now large bin is in a very odd position two uh, cth minor and two btc minor if we do the math right it doesn't make a lot of sense to get the medium or rather the large bin because if you buy one okay 
So this one has three minus, this one has five. If you buy two medium bin, the price tag is actually $80. So why would you want to buy the, what do you call this? Large bin, obviously the drop rate is much different, right? 50% common, 40% rare and 10% epic. Yeah, now that's a very interesting thing. So it, so this is the thing that I would say if it's me, yeah, it's, well, it depends, right? 10% epic is kind of okay, but nothing beats 21%. So that's why this is the best of the best. But $180, ooh, a bit, a bit painful. So the next question is, when would it drop? Here are the, well, I won't say dates, I would say the countdown. So it's in two days, 20 hours and 46 minutes when this video is recorded, by the time I upload, most likely is two days, 20 hours, right? Give or take uh, 46 minutes to edit. I think it's enough time. Okay, so that's that, the most important time to for drops. Now the question is about rarity. And I've searched some of the stuff and I could not get any answers, which is a little bit sad, but I'm gonna link this in my video link so you guys can read up a little bit. So BTC minus series one, okay, da, 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 okay. All these are technical stuff. We, I'm not gonna dive in too much. Our miners are capable of producing different tokens, a token directly linked to real cryptocurrency. That's the main reason why I like it. Or rather, that's the gimmick that pulls me into this project. <laughs> I would say gimmick first because we haven't seen the full extent on how it's gonna work. Until then, yes, gimmick. When it works, I would say perk. The project token ARCTH. Now, CTH, people are asking, so we have BTC and CTH, so we have two tokens. The next token would be used to expand your virtual farm. Now, that is interesting. The value of the token supports profit mining itself, some potassium mining. Okay, so again, a, a little bit more uh, tech details, but the most important part is the one that I want to see. Unfortunately, we do not have any of the numbers, the hash rate. Common minor, rare minor, epic minor. So nice, we have three different minors, or rather three different tiers. And that's that. Yeah. If you're talking about that hash rate, and then okay, so not so not so much tech details around here at the moment. Alright, so before I go, I'm gonna leave you some juicy, juicy news. Is that we're gonna take a look a little bit early. I won't say early access, this is on Discord, but the tokenomics for the tokens, especially ARBTC and ARCTH. This is very, very interesting. And I think a lot of people will take note. I will take note for sure. And this is a very important information I want you guys to know as well. So first thing first, ARBTC will represent one Satoshi. That means one ARBTC equals to one Satoshi according to this line here right now, which is great knowing this little nugget of information and uh, liquidity, yeah, okay. So anyway, it's, it's here, you can read it. I'm not gonna go too much in depth. Next is the ARCTH token. Now, this one is the part where they listed here. It's gonna have a total supply of 1,735,850. Over the course of 10 years, All right? It will this be distributed. So that's one key factor for the second token. And addition, the amount generated by the CTH miners will be half each year. So this is kind of follow the Bitcoin algorithm or the blockchain algorithm, right? The more you farm, the harder it's gonna get. So that is a key little nugget information for you guys who wants to dive into this project. And last but not least, so they have a small little, um, I wouldn't say backup, but a, uh, not say workaround, how do I put it this way? I call it a fail safe, whereby if uh, one ARBTC mining and 0.5 AR, okay. So basically it covers failures on real mining because this project is tied to real mining. And if their farm goes down, your earnings will go down for sure. That's the main reason. Obviously the, the fail safe right now is that they use a fail, uh, yeah, fail safe, that's the word, right? They use an interesting math to work around how much you get so that if, when, 
I won't say the whole farm goes down. If one of their mining nodes goes down, offline uh, needs maintenance or whatsoever, you will not lose too much of a value. The keyword is you will not lose too much. The only question is how much is how much? Unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that. Neither do they have an answer. But this is one small little thing that I would say it's interesting to pay, not say pay attention, to see how it goes because I will definitely want to see how this project runs from day one until 10 years. Obviously, I want to see how they run. Uh, obviously, I want to see a project last for 10 years, but we all know not many projects has the survivability or the skills. No, the finesse to survive 10 years, especially blockchain games, because you've seen a lot of blockchain games out there. Some of them are surviving. Some of them are a little bit on a very interesting state. If let's say we remove uh, games in general, right? Even the miners, hardware miners, has a very interesting lifespan. So that's the reason why I want to pay attention to this project a little bit. If it goes great according to what I think it is, then fantastic. If not, then it's a small little side project that I can say I participate because personally I tried hardware mining. The cost is too great for, well, the, I'll put it this way. It's, it's a little bit boring <laughs> when you do hardware mining. You just get all your hardware, chuck it aside, and then run 24-7. But however, this one has a little bit game tied into it. So I would say win-win because I want to see more games for Web3. And being said, that's all I have for you for today. Until then, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow. And small little PS, this is not a financial advice nor a financial video. This is something that I like. I want to cover it and I'm presenting information to you guys out there. So until then, my friends, use it wisely and make the best informed decision. See ya, my friends.